Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. A vlog, perhaps. I'm having one of those mornings where, like, I don't know what to do with myself. Like, I can't decide what I want to do, and so I just end up kind of sitting around and doing nothing for a really long time. Uh, like, just watching YouTube videos, which is fun and cozy. I, like, attempted to do things to my hair, but I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more practice is required for the hair in the future. And I just like don't really know what to do with myself. Like I got this fabric out and I was like, maybe we can make a little, a little like tank top or something with this linen. But I don't have a pattern. So then I have to find a pattern, hopefully like either a free one or a cheap one. And then I was like, well, we got these dogs here. We got these dogs in me. They probably want to go for another walk. They heard that. They want to do W number two. They want to do saunter number two of the day. And usually when in doubt, it's like saunter the hounds. It's really sunny out. It's really beautiful. So I guess a walk will be a great way to just start this morning off. What do you think, boyos? Boyo one, you can't see him, but where is he? There's his, there's his leg or something. It's just his tail. I like to take Briggs first because otherwise if we take Arlo first, the whole entire time you're walking Briggs, he will be trying to track Arlo's scent, like nose to the ground and pulling because he has been trained in tracking. And so he gets very excited and he likes to try to track Arlo's scent when we're going for a walk. And it's, it's kind of annoying because he's just like pulling nose to the ground and sniffing. He'll follow the exact route. Like I don't have to do anything. He just, he takes us on our route. I don't have to do anything. But anyway, let's take this boyo out first. interesting turn of events, I have given myself food poisoning. It's Friday morning. I should be at work. I'm not. I'm at home. It's been a rough morning. I am sipping on some Zip Fizz. I would prefer the taste of a nice mild Gatorade right now. Something with electrolytes. Because let's just say I am incredibly dehydrated right now. So I guess we're doing it. Hang out with me while I'm sick vlog day. Oh, this flavor is so strong. I enjoy Zip Fizz. If you don't know what Zip Fizz is, it's like an energy vitamin minerals drink thing that's like slightly fizzy and comes in little tubes. And this is the peach mango one. And I like Zip Fizz, but the flavor is so strong. They could like cut that shit in half and I'd be fine. But I'm also a gal who likes to water down her juice, so I'm sure I'm not the, the norm in terms of this. But I can tell that my body is absolutely screaming for electrolytes right now. So I'm gonna help them out. Get a, little, get a little, get a little magnesium, potassium, salt, sugar, etc. And there's caffeine in here too, which will help with the caffeine withdrawal headache that I feel coming on. Because I certainly don't want to have coffee right now. People like to try and guess what food they ate that gave them food poisoning. But if I had to guess, I would say... It was either my homemade Caesar dressing or the cucumber that I ate with it. A little upsetting. I'm just a, a weak, sick bum right now.
this is a life. Minus the whole sick part. Hola. It's about 11.42 now. And I've just been napping on and off on the couch. Watching whatever auto plays on YouTube. <laughs> I had to change my outfit because I was really cold. Mmm, water. I think I'm gonna try to take the dogs just out to pee in the backyard because this is about the time of day when usually I'm home from work and I take them for a saunter. But I can't do that today, so just a little outside pee it is. This camera is so heavy when you're sick. Oh my God. <laughs> one at a time though. I can only manage one at a time today. Oh, it's so sunny out. Come on, little turd. We did it. Come here. Yuck. I don't know what you just ate. What? Didn't I get gas today? I did. I know I did. But I don't remember how much it was. 35 something? Did I accidentally steal gas? That'd be really funny. It was 35 something. having tea outside.
that was really nice to just sit out there for a little bit and absorb some sun, listen to the birds, the leaves, the ducks next door, and all the cars driving by. <laughs> it's not super peaceful out there, but I feel good. I was able to drink my whole little cup of tea, which I think is the most amount of liquid I have ingested in like one go all morning. All, all I have eaten in the past like 18 hours was like a couple bites of this piece of bread that my, my boss forced on me when I left this morning. Because I mean, fun story, I did have to go into work for a brief moment this morning because when you start super early in the morning and things are like on a time schedule, my boss is very hard to get a hold of in the early morning hours. So I had to muster up the strength and courage to go in just to get things started. I sent her a message, but she didn't even see it. So I had to go in for a tiny smidgen. Ended up like almost passing out after egg washing croissants, started crying. <laughs> uh, and then I went home. Don't worry, everybody. I was like fully masked up, fully gloved up, constant hand washing and everything just in case. We're drawing with Deb. I'm not good at drawing, but it's fun. And it keeps my mind off my upset tummy. So this is gonna be laughably bad. Let's just enjoy what happens, okay? <laughs> ah, looks like a conehead. She has cheeks. How do I do cheeks with a pen? What the hell is this? <laughs> I don't have any coloring things, but is it gonna look terrible if I just like make the plaid with a pen? This was actually working because I forgot for like 10 minutes there that I felt sick. I think I just finished the second one and it's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> what is that? What is that? More like, why is that? I feel like I just need to go do a little snack quick. Like, I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're gonna go try to just eat some bland crackers because my muscles are like, we need salt, please. Please bring us salt. And the zip fizz didn't make my tummy feel too great. So let's just ingest some salt in the form of bland crackers because that sounds really nice to me right now. Oh, bless up, fam. There's one sleeve left. They're always broken though. We'll start with like two and then see how that feels. Feels good to crunch a food in my mouth though. I don't think I really got the cube bulbous shape right on this one, but the face, a little bit proud of that face. It doesn't look completely not like a face, you know what I mean? Right? So creepy. I'll show you the reference real quick. So spooky. Here are my drawings for the day. I also draw a cracker at eight. This guy's my favorite. Those <laughs> uh, crackers are not sitting too hot in my stomach right now, so I think I'm I'm gonna go lay down for a bit. So it's the next day. I'm feeling a little bit better. I didn't record anything else yesterday because after I said I'm gonna go lay down, I quite literally just fell asleep until it was time to go to bed and then I slept some more and woke up and I did go to work today and it was awful because I was just so tired, had no energy. Usually on Saturdays, I'm only there for about four or five hours, but I was there for seven hours today just because of how slow I was moving. I got some things in the mail and I wanna share them with you because I thought it was really fun and exciting. And I don't, to me, this is just more of a positive way to end off the vlog <laughs> of being sick. I'm feeling a little bit better now. Like I said, still not 100%, but we're getting there. 
So my fabrics came from Blackbird Fabrics, and I'm really excited. And also a little perfume that I got for myself, a little, a little sneaky purchase, not a crazy expensive one, a decently priced one. In the clips that I ended up not being able to use, um, because the audio, like you couldn't hear me at all. I basically was talking to you about how I ended up by accident on a fragrance decant website and I ordered myself a bunch of little samples and those haven't arrived yet. But one other thing that I ordered myself has arrived and it's this. It's from a little shop called House of Gloy, I think it is. Hi, sweetheart. And it's strawberry rhubarb pie scented perfume, um, eau de parfum, I'm very excited. And it says sweet strawberries and tart rhubarb baked into a buttery crust. And uh, that sounds amazing. Brickies, can you go away? <laughs> she just loves to be in the videos. He loves to be in the videos. Oh, hi, you wanna be in it too? You don't usually like to be, oh, you have messy eyes, mister. You can't be in the video with messy eyes. You gotta let me clean them. Oh, the dogs are running amok. Anyway, but I, I opened this. I got it in the mail today. I picked it up at the post office just after work. And I haven't smelled it yet because I wanted to... <laughs> I'm thinking we're gonna do a little... Pss, pss, a little spray first. But they also sent me a little free sample of Blood Orange Marshmallow, a little baby five mil vial. And I love the little tiny samples like this because this kind of thing lasts me forever. Can you get out of here, please? Can you please get the fuck out of here? <laughs> Can you get out of here? <laughs> oh my God, you guys. <laughs> Perfumes are super expensive, which is why I just get myself little samples from decant websites. Thank the gods for those websites because otherwise I wouldn't be able to purchase any of them really because they're so expensive. This little bottle I think was $35, I wanna say, which I think is a really great price for a 30 mil one ounce bottle of perfume, it's a really good price. And we'll see, and everybody says that it lasts a really long time and it's like, it just, it's just good. So I'm excited to smell it. But also I wanna smell this one first, just straight out of the bottle, and then we'll spray the other one. Oh, dang. Mm. That smells like um, a buttercream. That smells like orange buttercream. Mmm, fresh. I love it. Time for strawberry rhubarb. Briggs, I'm gonna spray this and you're gonna get sprayed. Ooh, that smells really nice. I'm gonna spray it under my shirt so it's actually on my skin and not just on my shirt. Oh, oh man. Oh my God, that is the best thing I've ever smelled. You, you really can smell like the buttery crust. Oh, Briggs likes it too. <laughs> Does that smell good? Do I smell yummy? Oh, it smells so f Oh my God, I can't get over that. That's actually amazing. It literally smells like tart rhubarb with like sweet strawberries and an actual buttery crust. Can you get out of the video? Get out of here, you beast. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that smells so good. If you like fragrances and you like, it's not even, it's not even like, I wanna say it's sweet, but it's not like, it's not like gross sweet like a lot of vanilla perfumes can be. That's just really, that's really nice. I can highly recommend this. That smells so good. Oh. Oh man. Anyway, let's stop talking so much and just show you my fabrics so we can end the video and you can get on with your day. <laughs> fabrics arrived. Here's this one. <gasps> what do we think? Is that gonna look cute with me? It's a little jumpsuit. I think the colors work with my skin tone and stuff, yeah? I wish I could do one of those like color analysis things. I wanna know what I am. Am I like a winter? Am I a, am I a, a deep summer? I don't know, I don't know what they <laughs> Which one am I? This is really pretty. I like this a lot. It's really soft. It's just cotton. Um, it's a little bit sheer, but maybe not sheer enough that I think you'll be able to see like undies through it or anything. We'll see. I might need to do like a lining or something with this fabric to be a jumpsuit. Anyway, and then I also got the linen. Really nice linen, purple, light. Maybe this is not great for my skin tone, but I really like this color. It's pretty. 
Just a quick note on how expensive fabrics are these days. Like, holy crap. I did have a gift card for these, so I only ended up spending like $20 of my own money just for shipping and like a five extra dollars that didn't make it into the gift card. But the, this one was $97 and 60 cents for four meters of this. Almost a hundred dollars for four meters. So this better be a freaking good jumpsuit. I better not mess this bad boy up because I will literally cry. And then this linen was $65 for three meters. A, a carefree cotton linen twill. We'll see, we'll see. Very expensive, very excited to use them. And that's all. Thanks for hanging out with me while I'm sick. Sorry, I hope I didn't bring your day down because I was sick, but we're ending off in a more positive vibe, I think. Uh, yeah, we're, we're feeling great. I'm feeling a lot better. I don't know, next week I'll feel even better too. So let's look forward to next week's video, okay? Thank you so much for hanging out, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye!